Hey guys and gals of the internet, I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. I have a guitar vlog, uh, given, not super popular, but uh, I try to do my absolute best to create great content. And so, if you want to start a guitar blog, your best bet is to get one of these. This is my go-to, uh, this is my favorite, there it is. So look, I'm filming on my, on my phone right now because uh, I don't have two cameras. But, so if you want to start a guitar blog, if you want to have a quick, easy camera that makes great videos and helps you uh, just capture the perfect moments with people with great audio, great video, at a pretty affordable price, my bet uh, for you is the Canon SL2. So the Canon SL2, it's awesome. Dual pixel autofocus, so that means that it's gonna follow your face wherever you are. And then what's also awesome is when you put your hands up close, it's gonna catch all those things really close. Um, it also has a full uh, Canon mount, so you can put all kinds of awesome lenses on it. So my normal walk around setup is this guy. So this whole kit all in, it's like maybe $5.99 for the body, 100 bucks for the pancake lens, 24 bucks or 26 bucks for this. So we're at 625 and then 30 bucks for this. So like 675, you have a full on great audio setup. Uh, audio video setup for making a great guitar channel. So if you want to make great guitar videos, you have to start and look, I'm literally filming on my phone right now. You could do it. Uh, you'd probably need a better microphone, but realistically the barrier between you and great videos is pretty easy. It, it's better than it ever has been. Uh, so I'm Jeremy. I'm the guitar hunter. Here are more of my lenses and here's the original video that I shot. And I realized I didn't just talk about the actual kit of everything that I recommend. So now I'm going to do a deep dive into all my lenses. So I've been, asked, I've been getting asked a little bit of what lenses I use and what camera I use and how I create the videos that I do it. First, let me lead off, I am far from an authority on this. Uh, I've liked cameras and video for years. In high school I was really into photojournalism uh, and some photography. Uh, my first camera was the, the original Canon EOS Rebel, uh, but that was like 2004. So. It's been a long time and I haven't really paid attention in a long time, but I'm now back in and I really enjoy it. I'm not that good at it yet, but it is something that I work pretty diligently to be good at. So let's just run through my basic lenses. Uh, I am a huge fan of prime lenses. I only have one zoom lens right now. Uh, so the lens on the camera right now is the Canon EFS 24 millimeter 2.8. That is an awesome lens, especially if you have a crop sensor camera. Perfect camera for, or perfect lens just for easy walk around, shoot, uh, street view kind of stuff. Because even with the crop factor, it's still a pretty good lens. Uh, then Nifty 50, everyone should own one of these. They are awesome. They're just these perfect little light, small 50 millimeter 1.8 lenses that give you great portraits. So I've used them, they work really well for guitars, especially uh, if I'm somewhere where there's a good field or a good uh, depth of field behind the guitar that I'm shooting. And I get to do just tons of really cool uh, blurred out backgrounds with really crispy guitars in the foreground. Uh, this one I actually just got, this is the Helios 44 II. Uh, I saw a couple YouTube videos on it and I just thought it'd be really cool. It took forever uh, to get here. I ordered this in March uh, and I moved in May. It still had not arrived to me by the time it got to, uh, yeah, by the time we moved it still wasn't there and then they ended up losing one so they had to send me another one. It shipped from Russia. These lenses have an awesome history. So the story with these is that uh, after World War II, the Carl Zeiss plant was taken over by the Russians. And so the Russians started taking these Carl Zeiss style lenses and just blowing them out, making as many as they can, really kind of stripping them down to make them uh, really affordable. Uh, what's cool about these is they give you this really cool swirly background. I just got this lens, I've played around with it a little bit. 
the intersection of this lens, it's 58 millimeters, it's a f2, with a crop sensor, makes it what? A 90, I think it's a 94 if I remember the math right. Um, but what I found is for me to get those big swirly backgrounds on a crop sensor camera, I have to be pretty far back. So I haven't been able to really find a good situation where I have so much depth of field that I can get that big swirl and still have my thing that I'm aiming for not be so small in the middle. So anyway, I just need to play with this lens and get to know it. But it is really cool. It's got an unclicked aperture ring. And so and it opens up all the way, super wide. I got uh, the, I forget what these are called, the 42 millimeter screw mount adapters. So I've got that, and then this is a Rexagon. So this was sold in Kmart and Sears. I got this at a camera shop here in town. I think it is so cool. So it's this funky vintage lens. Uh, this was basically a kit lens that would have come with a 35 millimeter uh, in the late 70s, early 80s. And I just think it's so cool. It gives me these like cool, misty, hazy, uh, UV blown out yeah it just looks very vintage without having to do anything it's a full manual lens so there's a manual aperture it's an f2.8 uh, and then there's a macro setting on it but the macro setting doesn't help that much um, very cool lens I found this for 20 bucks and with a five dollar adapter to mount it to Canon it's awesome this for a long time was one of my favorite favorite lenses this is uh, the Sigma Art 30mm 1.4. I love it. I think this lens is awesome. The thing I've started to find and I've heard, okay, so this this is the Art series, but it's made just for crop sensors. When you shoot at f1.4, um, almost always there's like hard vignetting uh, on this lens and it bugs me. So I've started to use this lens less. I think I want to get the 30 millimeter or the I think I want to get the 24 millimeter. That would be a, that'd be a good lens for me. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to stick with Canon or if I'm going to make the jump like a lot of people are. But uh, this is perfect for guitar gear shots for those cool put it on manual focus and then you slowly strafe in or push in on a slider. Then you start getting things coming into focus. It's a really cool lens. Really good huge honking piece of glass. Um, and then this, this is probably, it, it is definitely the best lens that I own. Uh, I'm just learning to use it to the full extent. So this is the Canon 17 to 40. This is the, uh, the L series 17 to 40. I got this from a guy that worked for Chevron in Louisiana. And what I found is that using guitar tricks, like all the tricks that I teach people how to buy and sell guitars used work great for camera gear. Uh, so far, I've gotten crazy deals. So I got this one for, what, 300 bucks? Uh, brand new in the box. It had been on one trip. Uh, so I got this one new in the box, and it's awesome. The only thing I wish is, and it's not in this lens, but F4 doesn't work that well for a lot of what I'm doing, unless I'm doing, these are great for like the wide shots, uh, when I want everything to be in focus. I'm not trying to really just draw attention to one thing. Um, but yeah, so my dream lens coming up is the 24 to 70 2.8. Uh, but I think I need to wait and get a better camera body before I do that. But so these are the lenses that I use to make all of my guitar videos. Uh, what is really cool is the skill set behind learning how to buy and sell cool old guitars also really works with these. So if you have questions, comments, or slanderous remarks, please let me know in the captions below. Uh, I'm going to use this setup now. I just got everything set up here on a Monday morning uh, so that I can shoot a video of a Loudon O35, a really unbelievably good acoustic guitar. So uh, for that, I'm probably gonna use the 50 millimeter at some point. My office is a little small for this lens. Um, I'm gonna try and use the Helios to see if I can get some cool like macro, funky, uh, swirly shots. I don't know, we'll see. I guess you'll know more than before I will. Uh, and then for the most part, I'm probably going to stick with uh, the 17 to 40. 
I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter. I teach people how to buy and sell cool old guitars. So if that's something you're into, I'd love for a like, a subscribe, and share. Uh, this is not a super guitar video, but this is my camera gear and what I use to uh, make all of my videos. So thank you. I'm trying every day to become more talented and to hone my skills for videography and photography and to help get better pictures and better stories of guitars because I believe that they make the world a better place. And so as you get better at all the details, the story becomes louder and more clear and that's my goal. So thanks everybody, we'll see you later.